need to shift my position though. So yeah, time for a little... Yeah, time for a little more bonus content, as it were. So, let's go ahead and speak with Tom. Once we can finally get our look on her. And we'll take on this quest entitled, Saintly Inspiration. A certain esteemed personage would speak to you immediately. And Angranji is ready to introduce you. It is strange that I got so touched to in such a short time. By the way, I only hope we can meet him again someday. Ah, uh, but this is no time to get all sentimental. I have work to do. And remember, the Saint of Namir wishes to have a word with you if you have the time to spare. He didn't mention exactly what he wants, but he was most insistent that you come alone. Whatever do you think it could be? Well, why don't we find out? And have him accompany you too, huh? Meanwhile, the Snowbite's fight still goes on, unabated. Hey there, Godbird, how are ya? Ho ho ho! Thank you for joining me, my adventuring friend. As no doubt you know, I am the Saint of Namia, bringer of gifts and joy to children all across the realm. Omgaranji has told me all about your exploits this starlight season, and I simply had to express my gratitude in person. Truth be told, I was observing you the whole time from a distance. Why, I almost wish that I could have joined you myself. But it is my policy to stay out of the spotlight, or the starlight, as it were. Besides, you and your furry friends were having such a jolly time that I couldn't bring myself to intrude. Watching Rudy help make those delightful snowball treats and grow into a confident little helper was a wonder to behold. A true starlight miracle. Which brings me to my request. I was hoping you might inspire me the same way you did young Rudy. For you see, as much as it pains me to admit this, I find myself at a loss for new gift ideas this year. Oh really? And so, if you could spare the time, I was hoping we might spend a little time together. Just the two of us. What say you, friend? Yeah. What would we do? Yeah, I don't want to be rude to the Saint of Namia. I just want a taste of that inspiration of yours. Yes, I'm quite sure some quality time with you is precisely what I need to rekindle my creative spirits. Ho ho ho! No need to look so alarmed. I won't ask much of you. I simply would have you accompany me on a little stroll under the stars. After all, the decorations are most lovely. So why don't we take in the festive atmosphere together? We can amble all around Old Gridania and make our way to Nopica's altar. There are a few spots in particular I'd like to take in with you along the way. Just one would be plenty if you have other places to be. Though if you can spare the time, I would love to see three. And with that, let us be off! Ho ho ho! Ready? Then, let us enjoy ourselves a most inspiring stroll. The Saint of Namiya is now accompanying you. Lead him to the designated locations and speak with him there. You may choose from among six of the Saint's Desire locations. Akaru Falls, the Lancers Guild, the Leatherworkers Guild, the Marketplace, the Watermill, and the Great Lone Brewery. Furthermore, you must stay close to your companion in order to proceed with quest objectives. In other words, no using crystals. So yeah, for those of people who have never made it to the point of Endwalker and probably are even nowhere close, this is basically a taste of what's to come. Yeah, it really is all told, so... <laughs> yeah, he definitely is a Sado Namiya. He's floating in midair! <laughs> Oh, that's classic. Uh, do we dare go for an upskirt shot? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, you cannot make this stuff up. I mean, jeez, Godbert, we knew you were powerful, but we didn't know you were this powerful. Man. Yeah, now he comes down. Yeah, let's have a look over here. Check out the fancy water wheel. Oh, oh, what a lovely spot indeed. Why, attuning my ears to the sound of the bubbling river and spinning water wheel feels as if it's purifying me to the depths of my soul. So what does this have you come up with? 
That said, it is a bit chilly here at Water's Edge, is it not? Most fortunate that I am layered up nice and warm. Except for your legs. Why, I dare say I was even feeling a bit hot. Yes, a bit of cool air might have been just what I needed for inspiration. With a grin on his teeth. <laughs> that said, I can make a gift of garb and garments to keep out the chill of winter. Yes, that would be a fine idea. Why did I not think of this sooner? Yeah, right on there, Godbert. It appears the Saint of Nemea has found some small measure of inspiration. You make for Nofko's altar if you are ready to end your stroll, or accompany him to other locations that you might inspire him further. Oh, it's down here. Oh, okay, the conversation points. Okay, I get it. Speak a lot about the Great Lone Glory. Yeah, maybe he has his own take on them. And hey, look where we should behold but a starlight tree. Or a sentinel, specifically. Ho oh, ho, such a magnificent tree. Clearly it's been tended to with the greatest of care. Yes, you can simply feel the love that those who work here have for nature. A gentle tranquility permeates the very air around us. Yes, it's quite the departure from the bustling crowds that are the norm at the places I visit. Why, just the other day at the Gold Sauce, um... <laughs> yeah, all that thought. I know who you are, you can't fool me. The Gold Sauce, as in a mine of sorts. Yes, I'm so inspired I feel as if I have struck gold. Ho ho ho! I guess. <laughs> but what treasures still await us? Onward we go! He's sufficiently inspired, unless you wish to spend more time with him. But we do, though. Yeah, here we are. Alright, there. Let's talk about this place. Oh, such a lovely, tranquil place, yes? Just gazing out upon the dancing water gets my juices flowing. I'm all but certain that inspiration will strike me any moment now. Yes, I can feel it coming. Almost there. Take your time, we can wait. What's on your mind? Or perhaps not. <laughs> Poor Rika. I was certain I had something for a moment there, but it seems to have eluded me. No matter. My mind is now clear and ready to be filled with new ideas, I must say. Spending time with you has been every bit as stimulating as I expected. Yeah, you may accompany him to Nofka's altar once you're ready. But we're not ready. Oh. You can only do two at a time. Okay. And as we make our way over to the Conjurer's Guild, it certainly looks like we got a light show going on. But that's only because we arrived at our destination. Oh, -ho! as all good things do, it would seem our little journey together has come to an end, and I can just feel the fire of inspiration coursing through me. Many thanks for the kindling, my friend. Now that all remains is to bring my ideas to life in the form of gifts for the children. Yes, I must be off to my workshop. That said, I very much enjoyed our little Starlight Stroll together. I do hope you feel the same. It was, it was entertaining. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoy when we can show bonus content. Oh ho ho, my apologies if I got a bit carried away at times. As the Saint of Nemea, I vowed to devote my life to helping others. I believe the two of us are rather alike in that sense. And your exploits this season have reminded me anew of just what the Starlight Spirit is all about. Anyone, be they man or beast, can bring joy and wonder to the world if they so choose. You got that right. A wonderful thing, is it not? And now I must channel all this vim and vigor as you've inspired me to craft my gifts for the children. 
So, I fear it's time we parted ways. Ho ho ho, don't tell me. You're curious about what I'll be making for them, yes? Walking about town with you, I was struck by the calmness I felt looking at the streetscapes veiled in white, and the warmth that welled up in my heart in seeing the smiling faces of the townspeople. That's when it hit me. I could craft snow globes. Yes, little spheres of glass housing scenes depicting the starlight season here in Gredonia. The children would enjoy that, don't you think? Yeah, I approve of this. And with that, I'd best get to work giving physical form to my ideas. Do send Amgaranji my regards. Ho ho ho! Also, hey there, Lou. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you with us tonight. Yeah, I'll bet depending on what direction and um, area you go to, you probably get multiple results. So we ho so we went over to um, the Water Wheel and also to um, Akaru Falls, or also um, the Great Long Brewery and also Akaru Falls. So um, those were three places we could go to. We can obviously check out the other three as well. But we'll see how this all unfolds as our friends... Uh, oh, it looks like they've picked up some DLC for themselves. Yeah, our friend Azalaf has picked up some DLC Starlight attire for himself. Let's speak with Arm for now. The Saint was beaming from ear to ear on his way out. You must have had quite the time together. But where's my head? He left this as a special Starlight gift just for you. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the festivities, and if you're so inclined, do check back in with the saint before the season's over. I'm sure he'd be overjoyed to see you again. I agree with that. So, we'll receive 10 Magic Prisms Sunshine for completing this quest. And of course, since we have the opportunity to do so, we will do so again. So, we'll now go ahead and show off the other three locations spot for the Leatherworkers Guild. Is it indoors? It is indoors. Hi there, Gava. How have you been? Let's have a look. Yeah, fellow crafters just like you. Ho ho! What a remarkable collection of the most masterfully crafted leatherwork. I would expect nothing less than the home of the Fenil brand. These will make marvelous gifts indeed, though perhaps not for children. For one as cultured as you, however, I do believe this bag will be perfect. It complements your powerful silhouette most remarkably. What do you say? Might you have something in mind for me? Oh, is that so? Ah, but there are few greater pleasures in life than exchanging presents with friends and loved ones. Just imagining the delight in their eyes upon receiving them, the item so you so ch carefully chose for them. This troll has truly been most eye-opening. Doing this every year, one tends to fall into a bit of a routine. Slowly but surely, you are helping me remember the true joys of the season. Glad I can help. Why, I dare say I'm feeling as excited and motivated as I did during the inaugural Starlight Celebration. Ho ho ho! It appears the Saint of Nui has found some small measure of inspiration. Make Fenafka's altar if ready, or if you're ready to end your stroll, or accompany him to other occasions so you might inspire him further. That, that is a lot of combinations, and more than I'm wanting to do in this stream. And the Saint of Nui is in midair yet again! <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't need reindeer. He's got himself. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Alright. Off to the marketplace. Yeah, it would take me so long to show off all the other things you could get as a result. Ah, oh, but of course. If a perfect gift can be found, where else could one find it but a marketplace chock full of the finest wares? By all means, let us have a look around. Out of curiosity, what manner of purchase is it that usually inspires you to come to these markets? Arms and armor, perhaps? Or foodstuffs? 
something more ornamental? Do you tell me if anything has caught your eye? It used to be pelts. <laughs> yeah. Adding that slight little detail that they've taken belts out of the equation in this game. <laughs> they decide to say, you know what, <laughs> it used to be belts. <laughs> oh, they are so self-aware of the humor that they're doing. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. <coughs> Definitely need to clear, clear my throat after that one. Uh, let's say we can buy ingredients from time to time. I mean, uh, my culinary is maxed at 80. Oh, oh I see. But for to make your things so soft, then, then another quality we share. After all, I am known as one of the realm's greatest goals. Uh, pardon me. That is to say, I am the Saint of Namir, after all. Needless to say, I personally handcraft every single gift that I deliver. Well, there are certainly plenty of wonderful items for which to draw inspiration. As always, your perspective has proven most enlightening, my friend. Oh, you're quite welcome. Well, one last place to go. Yeah, Rika's coming home, as it were. Just like all of her Warriors of Light that came before her to the Lancers Guild. Hey, Wayne, how are ya? So let's have a look at what's going on in here. Oh ho! So these are the barracks of the Wood Whalers. It's most inspiring to see everyone hard at work. Mayhap they would also be inspired to feast their eyes on my own muscles. Though, they may be difficult to see through all these clothes. <laughs> oh man. Be no, don't go there! Okay, he's just doing squats. Still. And he's gonna give us a man of real pose. Ho 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 ho! Yeah, yeah. Flex like your son does. Impressive, are they not? You are free to feel them for yourself if the sight alone does not suffice. I'm good. Yeah, I'll pass. <laughs> Come now, my friend. There's no need to be shy. Oh, yes, there is. Ah, uh, but nothing stimulates the mind more than moving one's body. I dare say I'm feeling more inspired by the moment. Well, if you are, you may accompany him to Nafka's altar once you're ready. Alright. Now forced to go. Oh, and hello there, my sister! Oh, it's always snow globes. Oh, alright. Well, if it's always snow globes, I don't think we need to see anything else. So, ten more Sunshine Magic Prisms. Well, on top of that, I also want to see what else is being offered. What does the Starlight Celebrate have on tap? A Starlight Mobile? This decoration remains in perpetual motion even when no wind is present, possibly as the result of some as yet undiscovered Asian machination? Are we really going there? Plus you can also get some Stardust Prisms as well. Yeah, let's see if, what this looks like when we take it back to the house. So yeah, I got a little bit of Starlight Celebration decorations all on, on the tree. We have a little mini Starlight Sentinel along with a couple of snowmen and gifts are all across the table. But let's see what the mobile looks like. Can't quite get it to stay up there. There we go. Yeah, hang it right above the door. So, this is what it looks like when you hang it up. Got some starlight, trees, slash sentinels, snowflakes, a bell, a couple of bells, and a reindeer down at the corner. So, that's what it looks like. So, yeah, it's a nice little decoration. I'm sure we can add a few more as time goes on, but yeah, there we go. We have 
now successfully shown off all of the content for the 21 for the 2021 edition of the Starlight Celebration, and it was certainly a fun and funny little experience with little Rudy and doing what we did with him. So, yeah, that that was quite a cute little, little Yeti. And speaking of which, I probably should show him off, as well as um, we sigh. Oh, well, okay, we did find the Squirrel Emperor. More fond of mortal children, the auspice Risai once transformed himself into a learned man and taught the young ones their letters. Like the real auspice, this self-created avatar goes wherever the winds of philanthropy and delicious sweets blow. So we'll bring him out. Ha ha ha! Oh, you can throw the little snowball treat up into the air. He'll follow you wherever we go, and he'll catch it while doing a flip in the process. That's epic. Yeah, I don't I don't know how long it'll take him to do it again. I think he's just... I don't know if he's one and done with that, but he's certainly made it enjoyable, that's for sure. Alright, here we are. Ru Wind up Rudy. Having faithfully served dutifully as one of the saint's little helpers, Rudy returned to his home deep in the mountains. But thanks to a starlight miracle, a wandering saint succeeded in recreating a minion of the fellow lo so lifelike it breathes. Well, let's find out. I'm also expecting chest beating. Yeah, I want to see chest pounding from this guy. Yeah, show us what you can do there, Rudy. I guess he's content to just chill out and relax. But hey, you know what? That's alright. Yeah, he probably need, maybe needs a little motivation to get up and moving or so to, or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think he's content to just chillax, as it were. And oh, there he goes. Oh, he drops the bo he drops the box and then he picks it back up again. All right. Yeah, the way that they were using the description, I was thinking he was going to be able to br blow snow or something, but apparently not. But yeah, there we go. We've seen everything now that the 2021 Starlight Celebration has to offer, and we can now prepare to make our way back to the story again. Don't worry, Rudy. You got this. I just wish you would chest thump. <laughs> 